Alright guys, so nursing life just got real. I selected my NCLEX date October 7th. I have one month to prepare and be ready for this test, which I probably won't be ready. I'm going to hyperventilate the night before, but yesterday I went and talked to the DON of my program to like get my study plan together on how I should be preparing for this test, and she said that most of the students at our school have had success with two books that were issued to us, and... Obviously, I have both of those books. First, she wants me to read the whole Saunders book. There's 67 chapters. She wants me to break it up into whatever chapters I feel is necessary and then test on them. She wants me to be doing 200 Saunders per day. And then after I'm done doing all the Saunders questions, she wants me to go on the website and take the comprehensive test that they offer. This is the version that we use at my school. I think they might have a new one already. I don't know, but it's just funny that she said people were successful with this version because I don't like the layout on this website of their test questions and I don't like the color it's like a weird red color with black lettering and it's just it's just not appealing it doesn't make me want to sit and read the questions and try to do well like I don't know I've just never liked Saunders but I did Google and see who was successful with what types of books and Saunders popped up a lot so I'm definitely gonna try and focus more on this book and on the website after I finish Saunders, she then wants me to do the Lippincott NCLEX PM book. There's 300, 400 some questions in the whole entire book. And then she also wants me to do the comprehensive test that they offer. And then after that, I should have about a week, two weeks, depending how many chapters I accomplish in Saunders from today forward until I read all 67. Um, I'm going to do the PN Mastery app. I've heard a lot of great reviews about that app. Two days ago, I went ahead and got the free trial for 24 hours and I completed like 100 some questions and I really like that app. It, it seems like it's going to be worth it. I'm on their email list so they email me constantly like, hey it's on sale today for $14.99, it's half off, save $10, it's $19.99, stuff like that. So for 30 bucks to get that app installed on your phone and you have access to thousands of NCLEX type styled questions. You also get like the mock NCLEX exam and at the end of it it'll tell you like what you scored, how that would calculate on the actual NCLEX and what areas you were weak in, what areas you were strong in. So I really think that would be a good investment. And yeah, basically for the next month I'm going to be studying my brains off. I do not plan on studying the night or day at all before my test and my DON even said that she's like you want to study up until the point of your test and then the day right before just relax she also said to use these studying tools Monday through Thursday take Friday Saturday Sunday off but I kind of want to be really successful on this test and I feel like I should at least do Monday through Friday and if I'm bored on the weekends even study just a little bit even if I only do 50 75 questions but she does want me doing 200 saunders a day until i'm done with that book and the comprehensive test and then do the lippincott lippincott this book though like it has the answers in it so like when the question pops up on screen if you want to cheat you can just go right in the book and find the answer so i don't know how i feel about using lippincott but i'm going to remediate all the questions i get wrong on saunders and i'm going to write down like I'm going to try the Lippincott by myself without using the book, and then I'm going to go back and retest and use the book, and I'm going to remediate that as well and write everything down that I got wrong. I don't write down what I get right because obviously I knew it. So I feel like if I already know it, I don't need to spend time going back and restudying something I already know. So if you guys have any pointers or tricks for taking the NCLEX, if you've already taken it, please let me know, but those are basically what I plan on doing, um, and I will let you guys know my results in October.